let's do this shit. All right, September seventh, ten a.m. District Court, courtroom number one. <laughs> the court is now in session for the trial of Miss Maya Fay. Oh shit! I guess it'll be Edgeworth. Or do you want to be Edgeworth? I don't know. I think you could do a good Edgeworth. Prosecution is ready, Your Honor. There we go. That's perfect. Do you want to be Phoenix since I'm doing Edgeworth? <laughs> yeah, sure. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Miles Edgeworth. I better not show any signs of weakness today. Or it'll be on me in an instant. Mr. Whoa. Edgeworth, <laughs> please give the court your opening statement. Thank you, Your Honor. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, was at the scene of the crime. The prosecution has evidence she committed the murder. <laughs> Oh no, I thought yeah, my game was oh, damn it. Okay, we're good. <clears throat> the prosecution sees no d reason to doubt the facts in this case, Your Honor. I see. Thank you. Mr. Edgeworth, let's begin then. You may call your first witness. When the chin that don't say that, I forget it. The prosecution calls the chief officer on the scene, Detective Gumshoe. Oh hell yeah, dude. Here we go with some good old gumshoe action. Look at this nerd. Witness, please state your name and profession to the court. Sir! My name's Detective Dick Gumshoe, sir. I'm the detective in charge of homicides at the precinct, sir. Detective Gumshoe, please describe for us the details of this murder. Very well, sir. Let me use the floor map and the office to explain. Oh, shit. All right. Oh, that's like intricate. Yeah, holy shit. It's like a D&D &D map campaign. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The body was found in the window here, and it kind of is drawn like a dick. <laughs> For some reason. <laughs> and the cause of death? Loss of blood due to struck in the head by a blunt object. Sir, the murder weapon, the statue of the thinker, was found next to the body, sir. It was a heavy enough to be deadly weapon. Even in a girl's hands, sir. The court accepts the statue as evidence. They're still calling it a statue. Floor plans added to the court record. <laughs> <laughs> now, detective. Y yes, sir. You immediately arrested Miss Fay, uh, Miss Maya Fay, who was found a cor scene, correct? Can you tell me why? Yes, uh, it was hard evidence she did it, sir. Hmm, Detective Gumshoe, please testify to the court about this hard evidence. <laughs> oh, here comes the testimony. Here's the music. Uh, I guess you have to hit play. There we go. <laughs> okay, as soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. There were two people there already. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright, immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay. Why? We had a witness account describing her. The witness saw Miss Fay at the very moment of the murder. At the very moment of the murder. Sorry, I can't talk. Hmm. The very moment, you say. Very well. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross examination. Y yes, Your Honor. Cross examine what? I couldn't see a single contradiction in that testimony. Whoosh. Smack. Smack. Hey, may I just threw something at me? <laughs> <laughs> What's this? When my sister couldn't find any contradictions in the witness testimony, she wrote she would bluff it and oppress the witness on every detail. The witness makes a slip up and she says something wrong. It worked lots of times. Huh. I should have expected Maya would know some of her sister's tricks. How do you not know this? Did yeah, she what the fuck? <laughs> Phoenix, come on, man. Let's give this a try. <laughs> Let's pull, try bullshitting. <laughs> <laughs> Something the matter? No, Your Honor. I'd like to begin my cross-examination. Alright, you can take over- no, I- 
Now I got gumshoe. Oh wait, no, because it's a witness tent. No, we can just scroll through. As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. Should we press, press. that? Yeah, because he wasn't there. It took five call hours. That. You want to take him What'd back? You say you got a call from. All right. Hey, pal. I don't play dumb. You know who. The call is from the customer at the Gatewater Hotel, right across from the crime scene. <laughs> okay, I pressed. Not sure it did much though. Right. Please continue. There are two people in there already. Objection! Hold on, hold it, excuse me. Yeah, HOLD IT! Detective Gumshoe, how long would you say it took? Between you, you receiving the call and your arrival at the scene of the crime. Hmm, right. I'd say about three minutes. That's pretty fast. Yeah, it sounds like bullshit. I was, we were in there for way more than three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're like, we were dicking around in there for like <laughs> Examining like everything. Our motto is uh, our motto this month is quick response. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> That's how I got there before the killer got away. Objection. Look at Edgeworth. Indeed. What? Why is Pierce saying what? <laughs> is Pierce saying no? Pierce isn't in chat. No, look at the general chat. If I don't die tonight? Okay. Well, it looks like it might be between suit and him, then. Indeed. Yeah. So, tell us uh, who the two people you found on the scene were. I'm reading the different wrong voice, goddammit. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yes, sir. The defendant, Mrs. Maya Fay, was the lawyer. Man, Phoenix. Okay, we don't. I don't feel like we need to press that shit. That's like no, off. press it. <laughs> okay. Press everything. Fine, we're press pressing everything. Everything. All the arms. Are you absolutely sure? <laughs> <laughs> Are you absolutely sure you saw the people that when I really admit was us? Listen, pal. Your dumb act will only get you so far. With her funky hippie clothes and your spiky hair. <laughs> you two stand out like a suspicious people at the crime scene. <laughs> well, he does have a point about her. <laughs> She's pretty unmistakable. I should pick my points with a little more care. I thought they said press everything. <laughs> <laughs> I immediately arrested May Fe. That's true, he did. But, oh, uh, maybe if we press it, he'll explain why he did it. No, why is the next one. Okay. Because it says why we had a witness account describing her. All right. Do we want to press, press that? I guess. All right. Let's hold it. Hold it. Hold on, just one second. Oh, the music was stopped. This is yeah. important. Yeah. It, yeah. If I heard correctly, you said you arrested her because you had the hard evidence. She did it, correct? Huh? Did Did I say that? Me? I heard you say it. Yep, <laughs> three people saying you said it. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> exactly. What about this? <laughs> this suspicious woman in pink in pink's claim was hard evidence. Was it your what? what? <laughs> <laughs> Miss May isn't suspicious. She sure isn't pink, pal. Uh, uh, I head scratch. To well, I guess she is pink. That's enough, Detective Gumshoe. Do you know any more solid proof of her crimes, detective? Um... I guess pressing can have its advantages. Dots. Yeah! Bollocks! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got my order mixed up and my testimony, your, your honor. Sorry, sir. That, that sounds like perjury, but okay. Yeah. There's something I should have told you about first, your honor. Very well, detective. Let's hear your testimony again. Oh, new testimony, hard evidence. Attempt number two. Yeah. After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own human eyes. Bullshit! Hold it! <laughs> you, you have eyes? <laughs> Are you sure you have eyes? Yes, they're human eyes. <laughs> I found a memo. I, <clears throat> I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. On it, the word Maya was written in, clearly in blood. 
Lab test results showed that it was the victims, even though we've stated multiple times that she was killed instantly at whatever. Also, there is blood found on the victim's finger. And she was sitting in a compromising position. Yeah. <laughs> Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. After she insulted <laughs> <laughs> How do you like that? That's my hard evidence. Hmm. Before I begin cross-examining, I have a question for you, Detective. Your, your Honor? Why didn't you testify about the vital piece of evidence in the first time, bitch? Head scratch. I, uh, I know. I'm real embarrassed to forget about it, Your Honor, sir. You're a failure. Try to be more fucking careful, all right? We're in the fucking middle of a courtroom session. I got a lot of things on me. Still, this shit was pretty stressful. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. Cross-examination. All right, Phoenix. Let's do this shit. Uh, after securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. I mean, that's not, you know, we saw that. <laughs> yeah. I found the memo written on the piece of paper next to the- No! That- he didn't! It was on Phoenix! Press! Press Hold that it. shit! Just because you found it next to the body doesn't mean the victim wrote it! <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Damn it, Phoenix. Oh ho! When did we write it? Who- then who did write it, smarty pants? Who, uh, um... <laughs> I did! What? <laughs> 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 The killer, maybe? I feel like the killer is the smartest response here. Yeah, the killer. Let's do that shit. <laughs> the, the killer. Anyone can see that. <laughs> oh. You're saying the killer wrote her own name, buddy? Please. You don't know it's her. She was framed! <laughs> Objection! Oh. Hold on. Oh, Damn. That. If that's the case, then where's the evidence? Uh, well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Shake head. <laughs> I guess it was a tall order for you. Those without evidence shouldn't open their mouths, Mr. Wright. Yeah, pal. <laughs> well, detective, tell us what was written on the memo you found. Found. Okay. I mean, you know, okay. that's yeah, pretty light. Right. It was red marker. <laughs> Should we press the fact that it was the victim's blood? Uh, oh. hang on, where do we go to present? Hang on, I'm trying to... I'm clicking on the thing. Oh, inspecting it. The department stored receipt with letters written in blood on the back. We don't really know how, if, like... So here's my question. I don't really know, how do we know? Can we, like, confirm that? Or, like... Hmm. Oh wait, we have her phone. We have a phone call of the conversation before. And it says, Mia, what's up? I haven't called in a while. Well, actually, there's something I want you to hold on to me. What is it again? It's a clock made to look like the thinker. It's not working. That's lame. Papers, evidence. Oh, oh, sorry, some papers inside. Wait, I had to take the clockwork out. Sorry, I put some papers inside it instead. Papers? Is that the evidence then? I'll leave that one up to your imagination. See you tonight at 9. There's evidence in the clock somewhere then. Yeah. But I don't think... But we're talking about the lab test results. I don't think we can, like, dispute those. Yeah. We might as well just press it, though, right? Yeah, hang on. I'm gonna turn the volume down again. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's so loud. I turned it all the way down to, like, 20. Wait, hang on. I'm trying to find sound settings. I thought I already had. Yeah, I already have it at 20. I guess it has to stay at 20. I can't get any lower. Damn. Press the lab test results. Yeah, I did it. Hold it. What kind of tests were these again? Huh? What kind? Um. Well, I hear they take the um, little bits of the blood and uh, hemo. <laughs> Hermogoblins, Hobgob, or Hermogoblin Bobbin. I refuse to testify on this matter, sir! <laughs> <laughs> I am no expert on blood tests! 
<laughs> yes, that is quite clear. You may continue with your testimony. <laughs> Thanks, pal. I mean, Your Honor, sir. Detective Gumshoe. Yeah, yeah. I think you can expect a pleasant bonus in your next paycheck. Oh. Uh oh. oh. Alright, so there's no point in pressing that. Right! Where was I? Victim's finger. Uh. I don't think there's any way we can, like, not. Okay, let's press that. Before she died, the victim wrote her curly the killer's name. Hold it. Hold it! Detective Gumshoe. Do you get a lot of cases where the victim actually writes the killer's name? Sure! It happens all the time in books and movies. This isn't a movie, Detective. This is a video game. That's <laughs> Oof. Oof. Let's talk about reality, shall we? Welcome to the real world. <laughs> um, I guess I haven't heard of many time of many cases, no. Don't you find it a little odd the victim write down a name, especially especially the name of her own sister? Uh, yeah, actually, you got a point, pal. Objection! Oh shit, Edward. Stop, stop right there. Shoulder shrug, head shake. Witness's opinion on the matter is irrelevant. The facts are clear. The victim wrote words down the name of the accused. Damn. The victim told us the name of her killer. Smack. Order! Order in this damn court! That didn't go so well. Look at that sweat. Th that's right, what he said. Okay, there has to be- Before the victim died, wrote name. Also, the blood was found in the victim's face. I can't fucking find a contradiction here. That's his whole testimony. Yeah, it's his whole testimony. Okay. There has to be a contradiction in there somewhere. Yeah, there has to Let's be. Let's find it! Oh, we have a floor plan. Check that shit. Uh, the door opens. Crash. Platter. Fuck. Hmm. Wiretap? I don't know how that would help in no, this case. One. Shit, maybe we should press the other things, because we still didn't press, like, um... After securing the suspect, I examined the crime scene with my own eyes. I guess we could press that. Sure, press it, why not? Hold it! Hey. Now, now, don't jump the gun on me, pal. <laughs> uh, now, now, don't jump the gun on me, pal. Just listen, I'm getting part- I'm getting to that good part. I got a bad feeling about this. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. Okay, we didn't press that. Screw it. I'm gonna press that. Oh. Uh, Hold yeah. it. Just yeah, because we, you found next to the body, yeah. didn't we do this already? Yeah, we did that one. Alright, kill her, I guess. Yeah, kill her. And this shit. Objection. The objection from him. Head shake, yep, yada, 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 yada. What didn't we press? We didn't press something here. Oh, there. also there's blood found on the victim's finger. We didn't press that one. Hold it. On which hand was the bloody finger, detective? <laughs> the, right... Okay. the right hand. Hmm, she was right-handed. Uh-oh. I guess it wasn't too hard to see what I was getting at there. Um. Damn it. The fucking... I don't know. What Shit! Do do? <laughs> Shit! I, I am like low... I feel- I don't know if I'm just like, I'm just being- we're just being dumb or- Okay. Dang it.
Okay, 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 hello, hello, hello. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, okay, I found it, it, I found it, I, I found it. it. We figured it's it out. It's the autopsy report. It's the autopsy report, yeah. Before she died, because death was instantaneous. Yeah, so where's the, where, which one are we, which one is it? That we Before actually... she died, she wrote the killer's name, but said uh, death was instantaneous. Yeah, there we go. One, two, three, objection! No, hold on. Uh, the lab test results showed that the blood was the victim on it. The word may I need to find the actual right contradiction. Alright. Hold on. It's before a one she before she died, she wrote. Yep, found it. Okay. Detective Gumshoe. Objection! There's, there's one thing I want you to clarify for me here. You say that the victim, Miss Fay, wrote this note. That she was accusing the defendant, Maya Fay. That's really what you're saying? What? <laughs> this isn't one of your lawyer tricks, now, is it? Yes. Of course she <laughs> wrote it. Who else could it have? No, Shakehead. You have it backwards, Detective. B backwards? You have it bass backwards. <laughs> yeah. The victim is the only person who absolutely could not have written it. This is this is a report from your department, Detective. Immediate death due to a blow from a blunt object. Arms. She died immediately. But... No budding your way to this one, detective. <laughs> Smack. <laughs> order! Order in the motherfucking court! The defense has a point. Someone who immediately... Who died immediately wouldn't have the down... Wouldn't have the time to write anything down. So wait, Bran, how do we- we've been talking in bullshit about this the whole time, but yet we didn't figure this out it took us <laughs> I know. <laughs> We're fucking idiots. <laughs> we, like, literally called that contradiction and we didn't realize it was written right there. <laughs> we realized, oh, wait, we're supposed to use that. Oh, objection! Mr. Wright, I beg your pardon, but when exactly did you obtain that autosome beer pot? When? When? <laughs> <laughs> when was, did we get the autopsy report? It was the day after the murder, right? Uh, yeah, it was the day after the murder. Yeah, the day yeah. after the murder. The day? It was the day after the murder. The prosecution Same. point being... Mind hacks with tap a finger. The autopsy report is outdated, your honor. Oh, shit. What? A second autopsy was performed yesterday, at my request. Death was almost immediate due to, uh, due to a blow from a blunt object. But there is a possibility the victim lived for several minutes after the blow. Oh, shit. I received these results this morning. Wait, so this be, like, illegal in a U.S. court? You can't, like, hide evidence from the other lawyer? <laughs> 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 like, the whole basis of... I mean, that's an other shit, too, but, like, literally, this is it. What he just did would be... <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Your Honor, it's quite easy to imagine that the victim did have time to write Moya. Moya. This voice is starting to hurt my throat. <laughs> that is all. It's fucking good, though. You got fucking nailed, Edgeworth. I see. Damn, Damn you, you, Edgeworth! <laughs> Damn! Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I should have known you'd have something up your sleeve. Drugs, head shakes. Why, Mr. Wright, you look shocked. Something you want to say? The detective is sham. <laughs> I'm a sham. I'm a sham! <laughs> I'm a sham. <laughs> <laughs> You want to call him out? You want to kill, call him a sham? Yeah, let's fucking do it. Throw down right now. <laughs> Throw it down in the courtroom. <laughs> Mr. <Throw> Edgeworth. <laughs> <laughs> dot, dot, <All> right. dot. <laughs> I've heard there's nothing you would, won't do to get your verdict. <laughs> what reason could you possibly have had to request a second autopsy report? Shots fired. <laughs> Mr. Wright, the defense will refrain from personal attacks on the prosecution. Fucking throw down <laughs> right now. Mind hacks. <laughs> no matter, your honor. Mr. Wright, say what you will. The evidence in the report is undeniable. Your honor, I submit this report to the court. Wait, now we're accepting that fucking evidence? Uh, understood. 
the evidence is accepts the fucking fucking bullshit. Ops autopsy report <laughs> updated. <laughs> fucking bullshit. Fucking bullshit, dude. Well, you know that. The evidence strongly suggests the victim was identified like the killer. This my throat. Just can't handle it. <laughs> I suppose <laughs> you, you do, you're doing golden, though. I suppose that's the obvious conclusion. Yes. Bow. <laughs> Darn. This isn't good. The prosecution would like to call its next witness. This poor innocent oh, girl. Oh shit! God damn it! Innocent girl saw the murder with her own eyes. <laughs> <laughs> the witness, Miss April, may take the stand. April May. Oh my god, that was so weird. That I read that weirdly. Wait, I forgot. Are you doing Phoenix during this part? <laughs> mm. Or not? Nah. Do you want to do April? <laughs> Nah. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, I knew the Phoenix then. <laughs> exactly what part of her is innocent. <laughs> oh, oh God, no. fucking god damn it. <laughs> Wait, <is she laughs> the <gonna> music. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, there's a fucking boob jiggle in there. <laughs> fucking anime, man. Fucking anime. April May at service. Wink. <laughs> what the fuck are fucking pose right there? Order and introductions <laughs> should not require reaction from the damn crowd. <laughs> the witness will refrain for one time winking. <laughs> <laughs> now the judge is blinking like a motherfucker. <laughs> Aw, yes, your honor. Fuck. This God. is not good. <laughs> She's already captured the heart of every man in the court. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us, uh, where were you on the night of September 5th, where the murder occurred? Um, gee, I was, like, in my hotel room. Fucking teehee. I checked right in after lunch. This hotel is directly across from the Fainco law office. That's yeah. right. Oh, fuck me, dude. Seriously. That's right, big boy. Please, testify to the court about what you saw. Finally, let's just get this fucking cross-examination done with, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my. It was like 9 o'clock at night. I looked out the window, you know, and then, <laughs> oh, I saw with long hair being attacked. The one attacking her with the mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. Then the woman, like, dodged to one side and ran away. But that girl, she caught up to her and she hit her. Hmm. Then the woman with long hair, she kinda slumped. The end. That's all I saw. Every little. <laughs> Itsy witsy wink and oh, jiggle. <laughs> damn it, dude. Damn it. Why me? <laughs> <laughs> damn it. Well, Yana, do those tits not convince you? <laughs> <laughs> those tits not convince I see. It is remarkably solid testimony. No, it's not. <laughs> I <That's>, <laughs> it's a lie. <laughs> I don't see a need to trouble the witness any. Well, away, Your Honor. Y yes, Mr. Wright? What about my cross-examination? That's like part of the game. I thought the witness's <laughs> testimony just now was quite firm. God damn it, didn't you? <laughs> I'm the stupidest <laughs> lawyer and judge in the fucking world. Fucking... <laughs> Law and order. Read to special <laughs> guitar unit. <laughs> Mr. Wright, I... I understand you were Miss Mia Faye's understudy, were you not? You must know her techniques well, oh my. <laughs> her cowardly way of finding tiny faults and perfectly good testimonies. Hey, how dare you? Well, Mr. Wright, will you cross-examine the witness? You're goddamn right I will. Yes, I'm doing it. 
Yeah, I'll gladly, gladly proceed. If only because I have a feeling Edward doesn't want me to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I have some weakness. Yeah, we have that tape recorder, but I don't know where we could present that anywhere. Very well, you can make begin your cross examination. Okay, let's fucking see here then. It was like nine o'clock at night. All right, autopsy report. <laughs> it was like nine o'clock to part. Nah, let's look at that shit. Uh, uh, died from a blow. A few minutes somewhere after being. Hit. I feel like somewhere had like. Um, had... Yeah, somewhere about nine o'clock. Okay, my cell phone. Wait, so let me check. Okay, this was at 9:27 a.m. at night. So this. Okay, this was Damn it. Uh, uh, the wiretap? <laughs> I don't know if that help. Found in Mia May's back room. Does it, the autopsy report not have an estimated time of death? No longer. The hell? Yeah, seriously. Alright, she did say something about running and then dying. And when I look at the room, she died against the window. Doesn't really look like she'd run away from anyone. Yeah. So we're okay. So we're gonna. Where are we gonna press? And then, ooh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. One attacking her with a mouse. Yeah. What's? Uh, she's obviously making a claim against her defense. So let's press the mousy girl. Hold it. Hold it. How do you know she was the defendant? Huh? Well, you know, she had a girlish physique. Women know these things. Look, I just know, okay? Yeah, what kind of bullshit is that? That was, um... There was one on the pit. <laughs> oh yeah, I was at the scene of the crime shit. <laughs> Wait, <no. laughs> there was only one person at the scene of the crime with a sure goodish visit figure. The testimony is bulletproof, Yona. He is right. I question the testimony. Are you gonna question it? Or are we dealing with it? He's right. Uh, maybe he should go, he's right, and then present the wire? I don't know. Hold on. Court record button for the win. Profiles? What's that mean? Oh, the, you can go to profiles? What the hell is this? Oh, wow. Maya's only 17? Jesus. Okay. April's 23. Eyewitness Dick, event. Yeah. Miles Edgeworth is 24 and he's a bit of a pleb. The bellboy? I forgot all about him. Oh. Huh. I don't see anything. I don't see anything yet. But I kind of want to continue with the testimony. So question the testimony or yep, he's right? I'm, I'm continuing with the question and te testimony. I already clicked it. Okay. I question the testimony. Hold! Hold on a minute, that testimony stinks. <laughs> this may. I am willing to bet that for your life. You're lying. I don't see the difference here. Are okay, you telling, telling the truth or did you? Oh, oh sorry. Di la verdad, por favor. <laughs> Erp. Holy shit. Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? Uh, you, uh, yeah, what is the meaning? <laughs> Somebody tell me, because I'm clueless about this, I mean. Right. Okay. <laughs> if you had really witnessed my client, my, my F.A., you would have noticed her clothes before noticing her physique. What? <laughs> okay, sure. That's yeah, legit. apparently we chose something right. <laughs> we did it right. Oh no, she did the eyeball thing. Yeah, she's fucking tweaking, dude. The tweaky eyeballs? No one wears clothes like this on a daily basis except her. I'm no expert on fashion, but her hairdo looks more from normal to me. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> However, the witness's testimony mentions neither of these things. <laughs> the testimony is bogus. Bum, 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 bum. But, but still, we don't know if she was dressed that way the night of the murder. Yes, we do. Yeah, she we was. Do. Your they, Honor. Took her to, they took her. They took her to the fucking police station. Yeah, I <laughs> saw I her. She got the chance. Yeah, we got it. We don't need she to prove was. that. She was, Your Honor. I saw her, and so did Detective Gum. <laughs> what did you say? 
What do you say to that, Miss May? Oh, the eyeball thing. Roar? roar? <laughs> what? Did you just fucking roar? What you're trying wow. to say is, you mean layer, lawyer, I saw what I saw. I just didn't think of all the t t trifling little details that were necessarily darning. What the fuck? I'm so fucking done. <laughs> Miss May. <laughs> this game is great. <laughs> the court would like to remind you to please omit nothing in your testimony. God damn it. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I'll be a good girl, I promise. God, oh, God fucking. Oh. I don't think there's like a better definition of a hoe than this girl. <laughs> no, I don't think so. They pretty much nailed it on the dot. Your testimony, again, if you would. Damn, I almost had her. Don't worry, Phoenix, we got this shit. Oh, here we go again. Once more into the breach. <laughs> <laughs> I did Actually, see I everything. Go, I did. Actually, I don't. I don't want to go into her breach. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> the victim, the woman, dodged the first attack and ran off to the right. And the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her. Wow, hippie clothes. That's like she hit her with that weapon. I saw it. I did. That that clock, um, kind of statuey clock. The thinker, I think. Well, does the accuracy of my report startle you? Tee hee. Oh, what the fuck is the TV? <laughs> I see. Only wish you had been so detailed from the beginning. That was barely detailed at all! Please begin the cross examination. That was less detailed. That was. Okay, the contradiction is obviously dodging to the right. I think. We did see do everything we have a it did. Floor plan? I think we do. It's, I uh. Did... I did. Maybe. The... Okay, she would have had the dodge floor to the right. Plan? No! Is all maybe? I'm gonna press that. I did see everything. Okay, I'll press it too. Uh, hey, what are we, what are we doing? Pressing. I, I did see everything. Oh, oh. Stop it. So what, what are we doing? What, 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 what are we on? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to get my internet fixed. All right, we good. No, I'm still connecting. Okay. Okay, I think we're good. Okay. Uh, so you saw me then too? Question mark. Yeah. Of course. I remember the spiky hair anywhere. <laughs> spiky. <laughs> the witness will refrain from personal attacks on the defense attorney. <laughs> God damn it. And the, and the jiggle. Uh, oh, fucking Sawi. You, is... you don't have to read that if you want. I'm not fucking <laughs> reading that. <laughs> Audience of this video, you can read. <laughs> yeah, that's your fucking problem. Very well, continue. The victim, the woman, dodged the first attack and ran off to the right. I feel like we should press that. Yeah. Hold it! Is, is that right? Is it your right? As it looked from your hotel? True, true. Um, which hand do I hold my knife in again? Right. It was my right. The hand. Right hand, right? Satisfied, Mr. Wright. Please continue. Alright, bitch. Here you go, Mr. Edgeworth. The girl ran with her hippie clothes. Then the girl in her hippie clothes ran after her. Should we press that? I guess. I feel like we should fucking press that shit. I don't think we lose anything by pressing. No, we don't. How convenient for you to remember the her hippie clothes. That's what you, I mean, that's what she said she was wearing. Oh, and her hair was all done up in a bun like and all. So, fuck, fucking shit. <sighs> what happened then? And she hit her in the head with a weapon. I saw it, I did. Well, yeah, it's no no point in not pressing it. Hold it. Where did this weapon come from? She picked it up from the desk. I see. What sort of weapon was it? God damn it, judge, we just explained that. That that clock, the thinker, I think. Well, I mean, it is the murder weapon, but we don't lose anything for not pressing. Hold it. 
Hold it. Ah, a clock? Didn't this come up in another testimony recently? <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> hmm. Well, you can't win them all, blah, blah, blah. No, but I, I've got a feeling. Hmm. <laughs> That's the rest of it, I think. That's all the testimony. Her previous testimony must have been what Edgeworth wanted her to say. So this is the testimony in her own words. Time to press and squeeze the truth out of her. Figuratively, of course. God damn it. God damn it. Uh... Do you love her dad? <laughs> I feel like the contradiction lies when she was talking about dodge to the right, but I'm not sure. Hang on. Maybe on the de- hang on, can I- how do you just look at- is there a way we can just look at the court record real quick? Yeah. Oh wait, we can, you just click present and then you- okay, gotcha. Yeah. I just want to look at it though, I don't want to- Yeah, so you just click four on four plans. plans and check. Oh wait, so if it's on the desk, then maybe she couldn't have seen it because it was in shadow? Cause like, look at the light pattern. Oh, true, true. Yeah. Yeah, she didn't say it was on the desks. I saw, no, I think the contradiction lies in I saw everything. There's no way she could see everything from the room because it was shadow. You can even see it in the thingy. Okay, yeah. yeah. Wanna try yeah, I saw, I saw it, yeah, I saw everything. I did see everything I did, present, and then the floor plan. Yeah. Present! Objection! 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 Oh shit, the music didn't stop. Damn it. Your honor, that statement contradicts this evidence. Bollocks. Fuck. Damn it. Uh, really? <laughs> what? Fuck, we're down to three now? Shit, dude. Oopsie daisy. Do okay. so you want to save the game real quick? <laughs> <laughs> Let's file save real quick. <laughs> it's just, you know, no reason whatsoever. <laughs> Save scum this shit. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, ran off to the right. I don't know how that would... Uh, okay. Slump against the wall? I don't know. If it was call. her right, she would have moved across the desk. I don't the know. The girl in the hippie clothes? I don't know how this would help. Well, the hippie clothes is a red herring. That's just like an insult to her... She hit and ran with the weapon. She hit her with that weapon. I saw it. I did. Maybe that's that what the floor plans. The no. clock, maybe? Can we, like, counter? I don't know. How would you know it's a clock, maybe? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna present a clock to her. <laughs> I'm feeling it. To what? <laughs> you can't to just that, randomly that guess. I'm no, I'm feeling it. I've got this. I'm feeling it. Okay, I don't think it it's works. Right. It does. Yes. Oh, okay, hold on. I, I fucking okay. the statue, the clock thingy. Her let it my dialogue and then give uh, do the statue the clock thing. So you actually present the thinker to her on that. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, huh, that's Whisper. weird. What you just said now was quite. Revealing. Oh yeah, here comes the fucking tunes. Uh oh. <laughs> God damn it. Revealing. Oh, you like that, you you naughty Mr. Lawyer. I love how you got so quiet. You just said that the statue of Thinker was a clock, but there's no way of knowing just by looking at it. That's true. Oh, the eyes. <laughs> the twitch. <laughs> Another person in the. In much the same position as you recently called this a clock too, and he was found guilty of murder. <laughs> order, motherfucking order. Miss May, can you explain how you know this was a clock? Oh, erp. oh shit. Oh, no. Objection. A witness saw the murder with her own eyes. That's all that's important here. The defense is trying to confuse the issue with cr trivial concerns. Yes, yes, of course. You will withdraw your qu what? Objection! Objection! My questions are all I have, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to do? Shoot him? <laughs> hey, recall, I've caught murderers with my questions before. Well, only once. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Objection sustained. You may continue the question the witness. 
Yeah. Phew, that was close. If he stopped me there, the trial will be over. Huh? What? So, what happens now? What happens now is you answer my question. How do you know it was a clock? <laughs> what? That That's... Because I heard it? No. <gasps> wiretap! But why would she be wiretapped to the room? Yeah. Yes, I heard so it say the been, time. So you've been to the law offices of Panko? <laughs> no. Hey, no, I no. didn't say that. Why would I go there? I heard it from my hotel room. Hee <laughs> hee. That's yeah, bullshit. The offices of Panko, where the murder took place, are very close to the hotel. Yeah. It's fucking cross fuck, the, cross no, the street. Fucking <laughs> no way. She could have easily. B.S. Are we actually judge? Come on, man. Even the judge is not satisfied. No, Your Honor. I can't give up now. I'm not satisfied because she she couldn't have heard it. <laughs> no fucking. It way. couldn't have rung. It couldn't have rung. Because could... because she, because Mia put the clock because Mia right. put the batteries out. It couldn't have rung. It couldn't have rung. Your Honor, members of the court. It is inconceivable that the fucking question rang. Uh, it's... The batteries are dead, or is it's it empty? It's empty. It's empty because it was replaced. That clock is Wait, missing its clockwork. Wait. It's empty. It's empty? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> how could you possibly? Oh, sorry. How, how could you possibly? Just have a look. As soon as you can. Huh. Oh! See anything interesting, Your Honor? It is as the defense says. This clock is missing its clockwork. It's empty. Oh, the music stopped. Oh, yeah, dude. Mr. Wright. Would Could you, you care to explain the court meaning of the, 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 court, the, the meaning of this? <laughs> it is as you can see. The clock was empty. It couldn't have rung. Therefore, this witness is a big fat liar. <laughs> fat? Oh, fat? no. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, Miss May. Mind game. Oh, uh, oh! Here comes good old Edgeworth. What? What a show you put on for us, Mister Royce. He knew the clock was empty. Somehow, he knew. Oh <laughs> shit! I'm afraid you've forgotten one thing. However, indeed, the clock is empty, as you say. It can't ring. However, you must ask: When was the clockwork removed? We had the phone. It was after with a witness heard the clock. Then there is no contradiction. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, because we have the phone call of them talking yeah. that it was empty. Yeah, easy contradiction. Huh? Hmm. That's true. That is a possibility. Can we prove when the clock was removed? The shrug, the head shake. Ho oh, oh, ho, impossible, of course. Impossible. I have proof. What? <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't it you who told me proof is everything? Well, I was listening. And now I'll show you the proof. Oh shit, like dude! Some... I'm a little far, but I'm a little behind in trying to catch up. Oh, shit. The Wait. evidence that proved when your clockwork remove was my attorney's badge, <laughs> <laughs> my cell phone, the phone. Ready? One, two, two motherfucking three. three. Take that! Take, that. <laughs> Take a look at this. <laughs> hmm, that's a very cute cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, you have a girly phone. Wait, wait, wait. no, no, this, this isn't mine. <laughs> <laughs> this is a defendant's cell phone, and it contains a recording. A recording of a conversation which had the victim on the day of the murder. <laughs> order! Motherfucking order! The defendant's cell phone. This, oh this shit! Brought to my attention. <laughs> oh no, shit! Illegal, but that's okay. Edgeworth is getting a break. Look at that smug little Perhaps ass. Detective Gumshoe overlooked it. Rumble. <laughs> the good detective better res remember he's up for his evaluation soon. My heart goes out to you, Edgeworth. No. Oh, <laughs> Let's hear that conversation. Beep.
Triple platinum. So you just want me to hold on to the thinker for you, then? If you could. Uh, I should probably tell you. The clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not talk working? That's lame. I had to take the clock word out, sorry. Hmm. September 5th, 9.27 a.m. Boom. And beep. <laughs> Your Honor, I think this recording makes it clear the clockwork was already gone. <laughs> and this was recording in the morning, before the witnesser even even arrived at her hotel. <laughs> well, Miss May, would you care to explain this to the court? Just how did you know that the weapon was a clock? Well, well, isn't it obvious? So the clock... I saw that clock before. Um, what store was it again? I'll, I'll go to so many. Oh, I go to so many. Oops, I forgot. Wait, it's a handmade Wait. clock made yeah. by a fucking... It's a handmade Larry clock Collins. made by... Dude, this is like... It's like we're ripping this shit apart after like the first two contradictions. <laughs> so the witness had seen the it before. The first contradiction was the hardest. <laughs> yeah, it really was. That would make sense, just because we, we we had been calling it the entire time and we didn't realize that was actually the contradiction because it was so obvious. Do you have any objections? You're goddamn right we do! Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, we do. The witness claimed she had seen it before, but this directly contradicts a piece of evidence already submitted to this court. Well then, let's see it. Produce the evidence that would prove that the witness had not seen the clock before. I guess it's just the clock, right? Yeah, I guess it's just the clock. Oh, uh, you want yeah, to save scum it? Okay, yeah, it's... take that. This clock was never in any store, ever. Wh what? A friend of mine made that clock. Only two exist in the world. The one that isn't in here is in police custody. I impossible. Everything is sold in stores. Miss May. I think it's high time you went shopping for a better excuse. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, excuse is not on sale today. Oh, oh fuck, <laughs> dude! <laughs> Phoenix Lane, the fucking law. Uh oh. Oh, oh here shit. we go. Oh fuck! Heart. Holy the shit! <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What's it to you, porcupine head? Wow, it's Mikey here again. <laughs> that stupid clock doesn't matter, okay? She did it, and she should die for it. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not get our head over ourselves here. This is a court of law, and the witnesses may call. Damn it. <laughs> uh, damn it. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Silly me. <clears throat> Did I, um, like, lose it? <laughs> it not gonna lie. I, I guess I did. Sorry. <laughs> Gary. Bad bitches Miss May, <laughs> let me ask. Tell me, how did you know the weapon was a clock? Oh, shit. <laughs> the anger. Hmm. Oh, dear. Does the defense have an opinion on this behavior? Okay, this is it. This is it. It's yes, the sure. fucking wiretap. Oh, wow. Explain how the truth will matter. Miss April May, you knew the weapon was a clock because... The wiretap. You, you had heard about Heard about it? Or no. Yeah, you'd heard about it. I think it we just... Because be you heard about it from the previous court thing. Okay. I guess we'll go with that. I'm going with you heard about it. Alright. I was going to present the wiretap, but alright. You can't present anything. You have to add the, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. The court witness had never heard the clock in her hand. Heard? Had never... That is correct, Your Honor. There is no other way she could have known the thinker was a clock. And I can show you the proof. Okay, this might be where the wiretap is. Yeah. Well, this is interesting. Let's see it, then. Show me the evidence proving the witness had heard the murder weapon was a clock. Okay, then that's the wiretap. Yeah. Boom! Take that! Have a look at this. BAM! That I acquired illegally. <laughs> that I acquired illegally? <laughs> the illegally acquired. 
take a look at this illegally acquired evidence that under <laughs> under many uh, that under the uh, fucking uh, U.S. versus uh, Miranda would be excluded, whatever. Or if it was Miranda versus Arizona. Miranda versus Arizona. That's it. <laughs> Sorry, I found this in Miss May's room. <laughs> ah, who's that? Uh, he... I found <laughs> this. <laughs> Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what this is. Miss April May, you are tapping the victim Miss May's phone, were you not? Oh, oh no, the face. Objection. Objection. Oh, shit. What's Your that we've got? This is irrelevant. No, it's not. I'm not entirely sure it is. Objection overruled. Fuck you, Edgeworth. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It troubles me that the witness has a possession of a wire trap. This is outrageous. Does the defense truly claim that the witness was tapping a phone? Shut up, dude. You got overruled. Absolutely. Even if that was the case, which is not, you still have to prove one thing. Did the victim ever say that the weapon was a clock on the phone? I mean, yeah. Can you prove that? I think not. Oh, yeah. I think I can. It's very simple. Oh, shit. What? Arms. Here's my proof. Oh shit! How do we prove that it was on the call? The proof that the victim said on the phone when the it's, it was the phone, right? I don't think so. I don't think she said. Wait. Yeah. yeah. The oh, statue is right. a thinker. It tells you all the and it tells you the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh yeah, you just present the phone call again. Yeah. Okay. Take that. Take that. I present a defendant's cell phone. Yes, we've seen that. Listen once more to the conversation between the defendant and the victim. Beep. Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Well, actually, there's something I wanted to hold on for me. Again? What is it this time? It's... a clock. It's made to look like the statue, the thinker, and it tells you all the time. Hmm. Miss April May, you used a wiretap to listen to this conversation. That's how you knew the thinker was a clock. Am I wrong? Oh shit. I... I... Oh fuck. Objection. Oh shit. Objection. Your Honor, this is ridiculous. Your Honor, Your Honor, look at the witness's face. Does she seem amused to you? The defense demands an answer. Oh, oh, holy la, shit! La, 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 wait till I get my money. Witness, answer the question. Did you tap her phone? Dots. Miss May! Shut up, all of you. Oh shit, I can't read it. You, you lawyer! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, those no. insults. Oh, oh, Calling fuck. me exactly what I am, lawyer. It's no fair, all you're gaining, ganging up on me like that. Oh, so I'm the bad girl, is that it? Is that it? God damn uh, it. Uh, what? Ah, oh, fucking, she's gonna fucking cry. Okay. We were right there. That did it. The court's seen the real Miss April May now. Now to deal the final blow. Why you the wiretap? Why the wiretap? So there's yeah, no way. Yeah, there's no way she yes, killed him. Yeah, why the wiretap? Why did you tap her phone? Yeah, here comes the tunes. The tunes of putting a beat down. Yeah. Answer the deal of her dad. I'm here. <laughs> Do I have to? The puto. Isn't this a murder trial? It's tippity tappity irrelevant. Gah! She's saying exactly what Edgeworth wants her to say. Miss May, you are tapping the victim's phone. I hardly call that irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> While the court does not condone the defense's tone of speech, he does indeed have a motherfucking point. How? Oh. Well, Miss Faye, do you, ex do you have an explanation for the court? Can you prove you had nothing to do with this murder, even though you tapped her phone? Ha! I'd like to see her pull that off. Mr. Lawyer, I saw that evil, evil grin. You were probably thinking, I'd like to see her pull that off, weren't you? What the fuck? Damn. <laughs> Bad. I mean, she good. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the fuck is up with the fucking wings? Well, you're not oh the first my. man who's taught me that, and of course, I can and will. You can't be serious, no fucking way, dude. Nah, nah, no way. 
<coughs> way, I say, way. Oh, I assure oh, you, oh. I'm serious, Mr. Lawyer. Oh, oh fuck. He's going psycho mode. Okay. I got, I'll his name, psycho. So the killing happened at 9 o'clock at night, right? Why, that's just when I was getting in the room service for my sweet bellboy. Room service? Room service. Iced coffee, I believe it was. Iced coffee, that wasn't, you know? There was champagne. Like normal coffee, but cold. No if you don't drink it quick, the ice melts, and then you have regular cold coffee. The worst. Iced coffee? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm making this up. Ask the bellboy. Oh, fucking wink. Ergo, the witness was not at the scene at the time of the murder. That's true. But she can still get, like... Oh! What, what were, that doesn't answer the question. So what does that leave us? It is, it is my great displeasure to inform you that the witness appears to have been tapping the victim's telephone. Telephono. However, that is a separate crime with no bear tongue in the current case whatsoever. Yeah. Her testimony stands. She saw the defendant, Miss May, commit murder! No, they're doing... They're going to just let her walk away. There's no way I could win unless I tie Miss May to the murder somehow. <clears> oh, <throat> uh, shit. Um... Oh, I didn't read the judge part. I skipped past it. My bad. Um, well, come on, think of something. Call the bellboy as a witness. Continue examining Miss Way. I feel like the bellboy is a witness. Yeah. Let's call it. I feel like this bellboy is important. The defense would like to call the hotel bellboy as a witness. There's something suspicious here, and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. Objection. Oh, I think I, you're sucking quite low. To the bell boy. Wait, why? What's your reason? <laughs> because I hold the wiretapping had nothing to do with the killing. Ding. However, if you agree to one condition, I'll consent to calling this witness. Condition. If Miss April May's alibi is not to be called into question after examining the bellboy, then you will recognize that Miss April May was not the killer, thus she is innocent. Therefore, you must accept the verdict of guilty for Miss Maya Fay. No! Fuck you! What the fuck? What? No. I'd better find something suspicious in that bellboy's testimony. Otherwise, Maya will be declared guilty on the spot. What should I do? Give up. <laughs> <laughs> I guess accept the condition. <laughs> I don't think give up is the answer. <laughs> I don't think so either. All right, I've got nothing to lose except for, well, everything. Understood. I accept your condition. I don't think that's how law works, but sure. <laughs> fool of fool. You fell right into me. You activated the <laughs> card. Uh-oh. Uh, um, wait. Very well. Hang on, I'm gonna save real quick. Yeah, it's safe to come this shit. Unless it's, like, too late. It might be too late. The court calls the hotel bellboy to the stand. Now I think we can, if it lets us keep going. Yeah, we're good. Like crash. I believe we're ready for the witness to testify. He certainly does look like a bellboy. No, you were him. <laughs> I'm, I'm reading everybody then, except the judge. <laughs> I'll take. <I'll> <laughs> can you take Edgeworth for me? <laughs> I'll take Edgeworth. <laughs> yes, sir. I received your summons in the middle of works, and I'm happy to be a sit. Why do I still have the tray? Yeah, what is he still <laughs> The tea set looks rather heavy. So without further ado, God, the witness may begin his testimony. So there are two ladies to use a reuse art assets, I see. <laughs> oh. Very good, sir. Oh my god. This fucking game. <laughs> Dude, it's so dramatic. I'm the head bell boy in the fine gate water hotel in business for four generations. I believe I received a call at 8 in the morning from my guest, Miss May. She asked for a nice coffee to be brought to her at 9 on the dot, sir. I brought it to her precisely the requested time, of course. And I delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May, herself. Hmm. What fuck kind of testimony is that? I see. The defense may begin its cross examination. Right, I'm ready, I hope. Yeah. This is it. If I can't prove Miss May was involved in the murder now, Maya will be finished. Oh shit. Uh, fuck. What else do we have? I am the head bellboy in Business Fortunate. I think it has to be one of the ones of the time. Call it 8 in the evening. Hang on. Present. Oh, we need to press some of this shit, though. Yeah, sure. Alright, should we. I'm gonna press, I believe I received an evening call. Okay. Press it! Hold it! Hold it! 
Are you sure it was Miss May on the phone? <laughs> Absolutely, sir. How can you be so certain? I checked Miss May personally, sir. Not only did I see her in her stunning radiance, but I also heard her voice. But then I saw them. And I. <clears throat> uh, I am. Oh, oh he's talking. talking about the fucking boobs. <laughs> uh, uh, the point being, I remembered uh, quite well, sir. God damn it. <laughs> yes, what then? She asked for a nice coffee to. Wait, didn't she have, like, champagne in her hotel room? Yeah, but we can't bring it. It's not evidence. Why not, though? <laughs> that seems like it should have been. Okay, whatever. Uh, can we press? Do you want to press? I'm gonna press. Press the, the 9 o'clock one? Yeah. Uh, 9 o'clock on the shit. dot, you say? Yes, I confirmed that's a detail several times. She was watching a program on the television, and she wished to drink after she finished, sir. Uh, 9 o'clock. The time of the murder! Mm. I brought it to her at precisely the requested time, of course. Press? Question yeah, mark? yeah, I'll press that shit. I'll hold it! Precisely 9 o'clock, then. Precisely, exactly, and most definitely, sir, 9 p.m. How can you be so sure? <laughs> Miss May was quite insistent that it be brought then. Oh, bellboy, tee hee. I'd like a nice cookie. Okay, I'm a, yeah. <laughs> uh, something like that, sir. Therefore, I knocked on the door at the crack of night, sir. Why would she be so particular about the time? Hmm. And I delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May, herself. Fuck it, why not press it? Because I'm like literally going off of straws here. I don't know shit. Are you sure it was Miss April May herself? Yeah. Absolutely, sir. <laughs> absolutely. Yes, sir. As in, so very absolutely, sir. And that endearing. No. <laughs> 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 How come you're so very certain? <laughs> well, uh, when I brought the room service in, she, uh, the guest, sir, uh, favored me uh, with a uh, embarrasser, sir. God damn it. Embarrasser? Is that a French for embrace? <laughs> it's French for kiss, sir, uh, but not French kiss, sir. Uh, more for pecking the cheeks, sir. Uh. Why would she have done that? Uh... Uh, perhaps she was momentarily swayed by my prim demeanor, sir. Uh. It was it was a moment I would never ever forget, sir. Uh. Sounds pretty fishy to me. I think our Miss May was up to something in one of the billboard you remember. Hmm. Thoughts. It's no good. There's nothing there. Yeah. Is that... Is, is that it? Finally, Shit. you understand. This bellboy has no, no reason to lie. No. If you have any decency, you will end this rather tedious cross-examination here. Hmm. It was a bit tedious. The witness may leave the stand. I can't let this happen, can I? Protest. <laughs> I'm not giving up. I'm pretty sure it's not the option. Yeah. <laughs> Protest is shit. Wait. <laughs> Please, wait. Yes? What does the defense have something to add? One last question. Let me ask one last question. <laughs> Your Honor, I must object. This charade of justice has gone on long enough. No, no, Mr. Edgeworth. All right, Mr. Wright. I'll give you one more question. That is all. Okay, here we go. This is really it now. Should we save scum this shit? <laughs> yes. I'm save scumming it. <laughs> save scum. Wow. Save save. <laughs> Bang. We had to make. <laughs> what the? F room service? Oh no. All right, we got a 33% shot. God damn it. Hold on. I'm hold going on. with room service. I'm going with room service. So you're pretty is confident. Because it was champagne. That okay. had to be it. Okay. Okay. Tell me again about the uh, room service. Uh, again, sir. At exactly 9 a.m., I delivered room to Miss Miss May in room 303. The guests have requested iced coffee. $18 was the charge, I recall. I see. $18. Doesn't that seem a bit expensive? Yeah, I guess. Well, iced coffee for two, you snap. And we don't skip on the ice, sir. <laughs> what did he say? What did you say? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, rather, ah, uh, quite, ah. Uh, <laughs> bellboy. Tell us the truth. De la verdad. Oh. Was someone else in, in Miss May's room? Objection. I object. It 
was that was objectionable. <laughs> <laughs> really, <laughs> it just felt right, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it just seemed like the right time to do it. <laughs> Objection overruled. The witness will answer the question. Uh, yes, I say. Uh... Why did you not mention this in your testimony? <laughs> Well, uh, well, sir, you, uh, uh, you didn't ask. Nice try. <laughs> That's the sort of thing you're normally supposed to mention. <clears throat> My throat is killing me. <laughs> How long is ah. this chapter? <laughs> fucking hell. I need to go eat dinner before the one shot. But me I'm, too. I'm finish, we're fucking finishing this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> fucking okay. Uh, uh, ah, yes, quite indeed. It was, uh, the, the, uh, uh the barrister there, Mr. Edgeworth. Uh, with... What? Barrester? He asked me not to mention if I wasn't specifically asked, uh... Ooh. Ooh, that hurts such worth, doesn't it, you bitch? <laughs> you fool. I've done it. I won! You did? <laughs> I'm all the way up. Miss April May checked into a twin room with a man. Correct. Yeah, yes, sir. Then, when you brought the room service, you didn't see the man in the room? Da -da that right, sir. Hmm. Your honor, we have just learned of another person involved who may have person learned of another person involved who may have been the murderer. It is possible to judge defendant. Do you agree, Mr. Edgeworth? Who? Who is this other person? Simple, it was. Oh Fuck. shit, who was it? The bellboy? Fuck it, it's the bellboy. <laughs> no, Wait. the man with Miss May? Yeah. Miss April May. Uh, it has May to be the bellboy. It has to be, yeah. Wait, safe scum. <laughs> safe scum. <laughs> yoink. <laughs> Alright, the bellboy? Yeah, the bellboy, it has to be. It was the bellboy and none other. <laughs> well, this comes as a surprise. Your honor. Mr. Wright. It was the bellboy who confirmed Miss May alibi. And this in turn confirms the bellboy's alibi. He was in the hotel. Well, sure. If you put it that way. I do put it that way. And I trust you will too. But what if they were in cahoots? <laughs> you have evidence of this? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> we'll Mr. Now. Wright! <laughs> Give me another chance. Simple. It was... The bellboy again. <laughs> okay, like, the, man the man with Miss May. Yeah. The man who checked in with Miss May. Oh, they're talking about the man who killed him. <laughs> like a, I like how there's an awkward moment. <laughs> it's like, Your no. Honor, don't worry about it. Your Honor, <laughs> as has been previously revealed, Miss April May was tapping the victim's phone. Yeah, Miss May has had fuzzy alibi at the time of the murder. However, that does not clear the man that was with her. The bellboys are no one else in the room at the time of the murder. Oh shit! My, my, what's the convenient setup? But it's too late. Too late. I suppose you'd like it if it if it was too late, wouldn't you? My throat. Why? <laughs> I'll take Phoenix. After all, <laughs> after all, it was you who hid in the presence of the other man from this court. Oof. Oof. <laughs> Upstart. Amateur. The, 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 these accusations are ludicrous. The rapper. Enough! The court has acknowledges the defense's argument. I expect the prosecution and the defense to look into the matter fully. I, am I understood? See, si, see, si, see, si, si, senor. <laughs> that is all for the day. That is all today for the trial of Maya Fay. The court is a fucking adjourned. Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh okay. my god. That was so yeah. much fucking drama. <laughs>